Carolyn Doobie here with this month's colorful jelly print party. And this month it's all about things that are round and shiny. I have been totally captivated by the new PBO iridescent paints that are just have so much shimmer and shine and metallic goodness in them that I just can't stop playing with these things. They're a really nice thickness, so they're awesome to use on the jelly plate, so a nice thick paint. And I don't want to waste any of that shimmering goodness, so I am cleaning off my brayer right into an art journal page that I've already started with some stenciling. Well, once I've got my jelly plate all loaded up with paint, now I'm ready to bring in my very special supply, the sticker. These are stickers that I had from cleaning out my classroom stuff. I'm finally getting around to cleaning some of that stuff out years after I've left the classroom. And like every good teacher, we always had lots of stickers. And I decided I'm going to use the stickers in a little different way today. I'm putting them right on the jelly plate to act as a mask or a stencil kind of thing. And now I'm going to bring in tops that I made. Those have some glue, hot glue on them. And I made those in another colorful jelly print party. And I'll have a link for you down below on the video so that you can head over and check out that one if you want to see how that one was made. And as I'm doing this, I'm kind of transferring little hints of the color from here and there each time I move the tops around to build this round pattern for me. And even something as basic as an empty vitamin bottle with a plain lid, that can help put some circles around too. Well, now I'm ready to start taking some prints with this, and I've decided to start out with index cards. There's no rule that says my paper has to be a certain size, and so I'm going to play with some little pieces for the first round of pulls off of this. And the one that I'm putting down right now, that one is my absolute favorite of all of these. There is something about that that just makes me smile. And like I said earlier, these paints are from PBO, and they have a lot of different kinds of paint. So to make it easier for you, I have got links over on my blog to the exact paints that I've used in this video. So hopefully that'll make it easier so that you can find some wonderful, shimmery, shiny goodness for you to put on your jelly plate. Well, I've taken small prints, and now I'm going to take a large print. And some of those stickers will stick to my print. But that's okay. All I have to do is just gently peel them off with my finger. Now there is one little imposter here. Turns out one of them didn't have a sticker, but I kept trying to pull it off anyway. And you get an idea of the shimmer and shine with this as I move it in the light, but in person it is even more magnificent than on camera. Well, I don't want to waste any of that magnificent color, so I'm going to pull those little stickers off and take another print because there's little bits of the paint trapped under there. Once I take that print, and it's going to give me a different look than what my first two rounds of prints were, simply because there was less paint on the jelly plate. But I don't want to waste any of that wonderful goodness. And since I had my art journal page there that I'd already started and cleaned off the brayer on, I thought, well, why not glue some of these wonderful shimmery circles on there? I don't have a plan for what I'm doing with this other than gluing them in a row. And after I glued them in a row, I said, I still have more, so I'll glue another row. There's no plan for me in this art journal page at the moment. When it's ready, it'll develop into whatever it's meant to be. And of course, you know, I'll be sharing it. Well, now you've seen what I'm printing right now. I'd love to see what you're printing on your jelly plate. I'd love it if you'd share it with us all over at the Google Plus community called A Colorful Playground. And while you're there, check out the prints from other people because it's really inspiring to see how other people are using their jelly plate too. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.